what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready Set Drone and today I am here with my pal Philip. Uh, we are out at our secret filming location about to test a high-tech piece of technology known as the sidearm. Philip, is what like is it? Is that a sidekick or? A... <laughs> it's, no, you're a sidekick. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a sidearm. Sidekick okay. holding sidearm. Uh, this is the sidearm. It's by a company called Gearworks. Um, they do stuff for other than drones as well. It's just a bunch of uh, servo kind of stuff like this. It is a servo driven device used for what? Uh, so basically it's intended for your drone to pick up stuff. Oh yeah. So um, you can't really see it move up and down, but this basically hooks onto the side of your drone and then this basically grabs and releases stuff. So what are the components? You've got the actual sidearm here, and then what's under there? So this is a little controller device that just hooks onto the back of your Phantom controller. Oh, nice. Okay. It's actually supposed to come, I think, with some Velcro, but I didn't get that. Okay. So if I even just, you know, let loose and shake it a little bit, it'll just come oh, there it goes. falling off. Yep. Uh, like but that. yeah, uh, it should have come with Velcro, I believe, based on what the instructions say. I just didn't get any. Or, 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 you, or you can just buy some. Buy some it's Velcro. like. 30 cents yeah okay. all right so and this is designed to go on the phantom now you said uh we've got our trusty phantom 4 here so the phantom 4 pro you said is not actually what the instructions show the picture and the instructions actually show probably an older model phantom is that right yeah and there's actually a full uh, full manual that's supposed to come with this that actually shows it better it shows a little i don't know like a fault fins on the back the little okay. the little steps there uh, but here you can just kind of barely see them. It says to mount it up towards the top, but we obviously can't do that with just drone. So uh, without their instructions to guide us, uh, the best I can tell is what we mounted down here, which we can probably show now, right? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, so um, here we have the sidearm. Um, basically, there's two different control mechanisms. There's one for the actual claw itself, and then there's one for the uh, movement of the arm up and down. So you can't actually see it moving the arm up and down right now because I'm holding the arm, but once this is attached to the drone, it will actually be moving the arm itself. There's, there's a couple problems with this. One, I would say, is that the jitters like crazy. Let's see, do you see it jittering right now? Uh... Oh, I'm yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing yeah, anything yeah, yeah. to do that. And that jittering also affects the little clamp piece here. So, I mean, I, maybe that's just how servo motors work. It has to, you know, continually move just to make sure it's holding on. I don't think so. But uh, whenever you have something in here, it's very easy to just come loose. Like, huh. you, you don't even have to have the motor. If you have something heavy enough, this will not hold it. Okay, so before we fly this thing, we want to do one quick test, and that is to see how much it feels like it will hold on the claw. Now, we've got this bag of BBs, and we've measured this out to be, what is it, one pound? One pound. One pound, exactly. And the actual weight uh, limit, according to the instructions, is 1.1? 1 .1 yeah, 1.1 or, the... or 500 grams. 500 grams is 1.1 pound. This is one pound, uh, pretty close to one pound, according to the scale and we've rigged it in such a way that we can hang it off the end. All we're gonna do right now, because we're not sure that we wanna fly it with this, um, because it is kinda of tippy already, is just put, turn it on, put it on the claw itself, and see if it feels like the claw is holding it. And held onto the drone so it doesn't tip off. So now the claw is closed and turn on turned now. on. And I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but it is struggling. Oh, it's even releasing now. Did you see it? It released some. So there's a little bit of play in it to begin with. Um, and then it just kind of bends. It does have like some type of carbon fiber support underneath, just like with the claws. Like a skeleton under the plastic? Yeah, but in general, I just... Uh... So put it back on there okay. for a second. Let's turn it on. And then I just want to kind of move the drone as if it were flying and see what what kind of reaction we get. So if, if the drone were flying, you know, just a little bit of shake from the props. That is way much, way more shake than I'd be comfortable with. It's also- and you can even bend it, it's bending inwards. Yeah. You see you, that? Yep, I can see that. Yeah, it feels a little less, 
like it isn't shaking as much because it isn't you know way down here and swinging but still yeah. i don't think i'd fly it like this and that's with one pound so basically you probably don't want to push the limits of what they say on the instructions do you no definitely not so uh honestly i've only flown with it holding stuff so we can not actually without. test that right now okay let's um, take it up all right Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a weight thing? Yeah, that's definitely a weight thing. Is that what happened before? Yeah, with the payload specifically, but I guess oh. it also happens without the payload too. Should we do this over grass? Uh, might be better, yeah. If you're unbalanced taking off, uh, basically you just have to give it more throttle um, upwards and then also make it go forwards as well. Um, so basically up and forward is what I'm gonna try to do this time. Stand back. All right, so how is it in the air? I mean, it seems more unstable than what you'd ex normally expect, but it's it's working. Are you are you touching the sticks right now at all? No, I'm not. So it's holding. Uh, you're, you're not touching the sticks, nope. and it's pretty, uh, it's going down a little bit, but and that's going down a lot, actually. That might be because the downward sensors are off, though. Oh, now it's hitting the camera. Oh, yeah, it is hitting the camera. I think if the camera's face, face downward, then it, then it will hit it. Face the camera up a little bit. Tilt the camera up a little bit. Now try. Nope. It's still way too close. Yeah. You know, so what, what do we got going here, Philip? So this is a filet of fish box. Nice. And uh, it's picking it up right now. There's actually no filet of fish in there. Um, but I mentioned we're just doing it for our thumbnails. <laughs> yeah, we're, just, we're just ta attaching something to it to see how it does. So here's a question. Can you, can uh, obviously you can drop that. Yeah. Can you set that down gently and then take back off? With as much as it's moving up and down, I don't know if I want to risk that, but we can try. Oh. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Let's try to pick it back up. All right. Don't try this at home, kids. So there's one problem. <laughs> no, no. It's the prop wash. Yeah, it's... it keeps pushing the box away. You need rocks in the box. Yeah. In which case, you uh, probably couldn't pick it up. Right. There's a catch-22 for you. Or Velcro. Velcro would hold it. Velcro would definitely hold it. All right, so what are we gonna do here, Philip? So we basically need to make sure this parachute doesn't unravel before we want it to. So I think we could probably just have the, the arm hook onto it. We have our brave little parachute guy there. And uh, hopefully it doesn't let go prematurely. All you right, I mean. you wanna try taking off? Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be over there. Yeah. Stand right. clear. So far, so good. Go up a little bit higher. Uh, hopefully, it'll end up over here. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Uh, we might lose it. Drone, go catch it. No wrong way. Drone, go catch it. You got this, Phantom Four. Go catch it. Catching this, you're, you're getting this, Kelly? It's gonna be the first ever drone rescue. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's somewhere in the trees. Yeah. Imagine if I actually caught it midair, though. That'd be interesting. Uh -oh. I was booking it, though. I was trying to catch it. So what? What's going on here, Philip? So we found the uh, parachute. 
Uh huh. It's on top of a tree. But oh yeah, there it is. But we probably can't get it. No, I don't think we can get it. You don't think you can go in there with the claw and lift it up? No, I don't trust the claw that much, and I don't trust myself that much. All right, so Philip, the side armed by Gearworks. What do you think? On a scale of one to ten, probably a two for me personally. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. Um, it just the design is wonky because, again, if you ever hold a weight out in your arm like this, uh, it, it's much heavier this way than if it was centered down below. Right. It makes the drone off balance, as you saw when the drone tipped over and fell. Um, it is not, this, this claw is not super strong. Like it tends to kind of open with a little bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think it's a cool idea. It just seems like something that would almost need to be designed straight down or built into the drone's frame. Yeah, I think built into the drone's frame the way, is the way to go. Uh, this is like a, it's like a toy, basically. Um, I would not pay as much as they're asking for. I think it's 200 uh, for, like, for this at all. Yeah, and you know, no offense to Gearworks because they're out there doing their thing and trying to create something innovative. It just, the use cases for this are pretty small. I can't see a lot of reasons why you would want to do this other than dropping some from the, something from the sky. And quite honestly, if you want to do that, the Flea Flea is a lot better option, don't you think? Yeah, and honestly, the concept of a robotic arm is cool. And I think this is, uh, they're primarily outside of the drone um, area. So uh, they're venturing out of their, their forte necessarily to, to put something out for us. So that's definitely appreciated. Anyway, uh, if you want to check it out, we'll put a link to their website so you can go see it yourself. It's not an affiliate link or anything, but go you know, read up on what they do. Uh, thanks again to Gearworks for sending this to us, and thanks to you for watching. Love to hear your comments about this, and I think we're actually going to give this away, right? Yeah. So if somebody is really wanting to try this out, maybe even take it apart and see if they can uh, improve upon it, we're going to give it away to somebody to do that. Yeah, we'll be announcing that here soon, if not already by the time you see this. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to Ready, Set, Drone and Philip Ulrich on Ready, Set, Drone's platform of choice, YouTube. Velcro, Velcro is a